What's up, y'all? This is Czar. Uh, I want to give you an overview of the Waves H Comp and show you why it's a very special compressor in the Waves lineup. So let's take a look at the features here. Oh, first here, the analog button. This analog knob is, you can think of it as four different output transformers uh, for your signal. Each one has a, has a subtle change that it adds. And then you can also turn it off, of course, if you wanted the signal more cleaner. Uh, if you're you know, familiar with compressors, you got your standard ratio. Well, we got from one all the way up to 50. Uh, the one to one, of course, you can use the H comp as kind of like a color box because at one to one, you're not doing any compression, but you can use this and still add tone and color to your signal. The punch knob here allows you to add transients back uh, if you're really squashing a signal. And I'll show you an example of that in a minute. Uh, your attack, you go from half a millisecond all the way up to 100 milliseconds. You can go to a really slow attack. Uh, you got your threshold. Uh, the release is one of the most interesting and unique things about the H comp. The release has three different modes. The BPM, you can set your release to the tempo of the song. I've never seen another compressor be able to do that. Um, the host, well, the host sets your sets the release time to the tempo of the song. BPM, you can set it to a different BPM other than what the song or what your session tempo is. And then you got your standard milliseconds that we're all used to. You got your output and the mix knob is what allows you to blend the dry signal back in. Uh, this compressor is really perfect for drums to me and I love what it does to the low end. It really thickens things up nice. Uh, vocals, I've used it on vocals. I've used it on mix bus. I've used it on bass. I've used it to duck a bass. Uh, because of the thickness that it adds, my favorite uses for the H comp is drum bus and bass. Uh, on vocals, if I have a thin sounding vocal, then I would use the H comp to thicken it up. It works really good for that. The session I've got here is a song named Crazy from artist named Venus that I recorded at Quad Studios uh, last weekend here in Nashville. On this mix, I've used the H comp for parallel drum compression so first, let's, uh, I'm going to play a little bit for it so you can hear what it is. Okay, so let's first look at how I used it on the parallel compression here for the drums. So you can look at what I've done here. I've used the analog setting for uh, <clears throat> ratio is eight to one. Uh, I've got the punch engaged. Uh, then I got about a 10 millisecond attack here. Uh, the release I've got set to the tempo of the song is again, I love that feature on here. It makes it really, really easy to set the release for drums because you want your drums to move to the tempo. So let's take a listen here. And now I'm going to play it again and bypass the H comp so you can hear what it's doing for the parallel compression. So it's subtle, but you can feel a, a low end lift there when I engage with the H comp. I'm gonna move to the chorus here where I've got a bass line coming in and I've got the bass going through the parallel compression too, so you can hear what that's doing.
So again, you can hear that that low end lift uh, that the H comp is giving the drums here. Now I want to talk about the punch button. The punch button adds transients back. Uh, so if when you heavily compress a signal, you're squashing the transients. So this is what the punch button is for. And what I'm going to do is switch to setup A, where I've got the punch off on setup B. I've got it at 15. So listen to the listen to the kick drum. Focus on that, and listen to what it's what the punch is doing when I'm engaging it. So with the punch engage, you can hear it's it's adding a little more of the punch, uh, as pun intended, back into the back into the drums there. So I've also used the H comp, like I said, on mix bus, and just so you can see my settings uh, for that, even though like I said you're not hearing it, but uh, again setting the release to the host uh, makes it really easy for mix bus compression. Um, ratio one and a half um, and again I've got the punch back going but because the H comp adds that low end and thickness I want to use it on mix bus to kind of enhance the low end that I was already getting again and I think it worked out very well uh, let me know what you think catch y'all next time